Hey everyone, I am Prabhu Khandalwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss Floyd Warshall algorithm. Then, we will discuss algorithmic solution to all pairs shorted path problem. Finally, we will implement the Floyd Warshall algorithm to solve all pairs shortest path problem in the code editor. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon below. So you never miss an update from Simply Learn's YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get started with the topic, what is Floyd Warshall algorithm? The Floyd Warshall algorithm is for solving the all pairs shorted path problem. The problem is to find the shortest distance between every pair of vertices in the given edge weighted directed graph. Now let's discuss the algorithmic solution to the all pairs shortest path problem. First, we will initialize the solution matrix the same as the input graph matrix. Then, the solution matrix is then updated by treating all vertices as intermediate vertices. Our main goal is to pick all vertices one by one and update all shortest paths that involves the picked vertex as intermediate vertex. We have now discussed the fluid washer algorithm and the algorithmic solution to all pairs shortest path problem. Now let's implement this solution in the code editor. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. We will start by defining vertices. We will have four vertices. So hashtag define INF which will be equal to 9999. Now let's write a function to print the solution matrix. So void print solution with argument as int a two dimensional array this with its y as v. We will come back to its definition later on. Now we will write a function to solve all pair shortest path problem using Floyd Warshall algorithm. So void Floyd Warshall int graph. This will also be the 2D array which has y as v. Now we will define this 2D array. It will be the output matrix that will finally have the shortest distances between every pair of vertices. So int test its x and y will be v comma i comma j comma k now we will initialize the solution matrix same as input graph matrix or we can say that the initial value of shortest distance are based on shortest paths considering no intermediate vertex so for i is equal to 0 i less than capital V I plus plus another nested loop for J is equals to zero J less than V J plus plus so distance at I comma J will be equals to graph at I comma J now we will add all vertices one by one to the set of intermediate vertices. So before start of an iteration, we will have the shortest distances between all pairs of vertices such that the shortest distance considering all the vertices is set from 0 to k minus 1 as intermediate vertices. And after the end of an iteration, vertex number k is added to the set of intermediate vertices and the set becomes from 0 to k. So for loop k is equals to 0 k less than v k plus plus now we will pick all vertices as source per one by one i is equals to 0 i less than v i plus plus now we will pick all vertices as a destination for the above picked source so for j is equals to 0 j less than capital v j plus plus 
Now if vertex k is on the shortest path from i to j then we will update the value of distance i comma j. So if distance at i comma j is greater than distance at i comma k plus distance at k comma j and distance at k comma j is not equals to i and f and distance at i comma k is also not equals to i and f then distance at i comma j will be equals to distance at i comma k plus distance at k comma j now we will call the print solution function for test now let's write the utility function to print solution so void print solution and test we will start with see out the following matrix will show the shortest distance between every pairs of vertices for loop and i is equals to zero i less than capital v i plus plus for loop and j is equals to zero j less than v j plus plus if distance at i comma j is equals to i and f then we will see out i and f else we will see out the distance at i comma j now we will see out and l this will change the row for the matrix now let's write the main block so we will define the matrix as int graph v comma v which will be equals to 0 comma 5 comma inf comma 10 next row inf comma 0 comma 3 comma inf next row inf comma inf comma 0 comma 1 last row inf comma inf comma inf comma 0 now we will call the floyd warshall function so floyd warshall for argument graph let's execute this as you can see we are getting an updated matrix which shows the shortest distance between every pair of vertices and this was all for today's session hope you guys found it informative and helpful if you like this session then like share and subscribe if you have any question then you can drop them in the comment section below thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn